What's going on, guys? MDLP from the Battle Axe, the only fucking strongman gym in Miami where strength is everything. Finally making a video after like 16 years of not making one. I've been um, pretty fucking busy with training and just being lazy about it. Um, I've had a series of questions I've <sighs> just been ignoring. So um, I think it's time to get back on this shit and make more videos. Um, I did pierce my labia right here. Um, so that's a big deal for me. I'm very excited about that. I think I have fruit in my beard. Um, but let's get to answering these questions. So I was asked kind of what ways to vary uh, the main movements so that you actually see strength gains, which is a really good fucking question. Uh, I don't want to get too in-depth because then people get really, really confused and they're going to get sassy in the comments. Mm, I'm not preaching that I know everything, but I've been fortunate enough to train with a lot of good lifters and work with a lot of people. Um, and I've seen different kind of gains, uh, especially myself, from doing simple things. So I'll just give one example on the main movement, which would be the squat, the pull, and the press. So on the squat, I'll give you two, actually, that I like to do. Um, I've been working with Alan Colley of Iron House, and he's been making me take a little bit more of a narrow stance um, to generate more power and speed out of the hole, which has been, at first, it was a step back in strength for me uh, because I've been squatting so wide for powerlifting. But... Uh, I actually, after a few weeks, I saw a tremendous amount of strength gains. Um, my booty got big. It's all about that base. Um, and I got a lot faster and more explosive on just general movements. So um, those guys who, who squat wide, it wouldn't hurt you to take some, sometimes maybe once or twice a week to challenge yourself to squat a little bit more narrow, work on that mobility, work on that speed. That's a huge step forward, I think. Um, you don't have to change your entire program, but think about it as maybe as an accessory movement. After your five heavy doubles, change that stance in and see how you feel and hit different parts of your quads. Or, like I said, I'd give you two. Think about the box squat. Um, you don't have to necessarily make it your main movement again, but think about making it an accessory or day for speed. I love the box squat. I will always continue to box squat. I've just been kind of taking a break from it. Um, to stick with the program and just generate more speed out of the hole for explosivity for myself. But box squat's a good alternative to add. On the press, um, if you're a power lifter, then you should probably really focus on the bench press and continue to add stuff like pauses and stuff like that. Um, but I would always suggest that you guys work on strict press. Whether you're a strongman or not, um, I think overhead pressing is huge. And that includes the log, the axle, and the Olympic bar. And the football bar, whatever it is that you want to get, um, bamboo or bamboo bar with kettlebells at the end. Um, really focus on overhead pressing. I see a lot of guys, uh, powerlifters especially, who just focus on the bench, and that's great. Um, but it doesn't hurt to do some overhead pressing to really develop the rest of your shoulders, all that you know, frontal, rear, and all that bullshit, and you get tasty little traps. But not really. Um, I think that's super important just to work on overhead pressing more. If you're a strongman. Um, then work on the bench. You see, I don't think you should stop benching if you're a strong man. Should it be your main movement? Mm, it really, sh in my opinion, should not be the main movement unless you are you have some sort of impingement on overhead uh, and you can't do it as much or the show is not demanding overhead pressing and you want to just play around with the bench or you're preparing for a powerlifting meet. Um, I think that the main movement should continue to be focused on overhead pressing uh, but every once in a while, I'll still hit heavy sets of triples and sets of fives, um, board pressing, different variations of the bench, I think, should always stay in your program to keep that chest strong. and just It's a powerlifting movement. It's a, it generates power. It's an excellent athletic movement. Um, so if you're not doing enough overhead, more overhead. And if you're doing plenty of overhead, don't forget your bench. Um, and the last thing on the deadlift, um, I would say just vary even two things, actually. Vary the height of the bar, working on mats and deficits, which is fucking huge. Um, if you're slow off the ground, it really deficits really help. If you're slow at lockout, put that shit on high blocks and overload train. So just varying the height every other week is great. I mean, I know it's important to pull off the ground often, um, but varying the height can really add an incredible amount of speed throughout the movement. And doing a sumo lift every once in a while. I don't really use it as my main movement, but I will add them every once in a while as my secondary or tertiary movement. Th tertiary? You see that shit? Huh? Huh? That's right, Papa. That's brains. Somewhere deep down inside this fat skull, some brains are left. Um, 
I think it's important to do that. Uh, just change the sumo, maybe work for speed or just, you know, sets. Get different parts of the gluteus and your vagina and get that Kegel action going. I think it's very important. So I hope those kind of ideas help the common lifter. I know I like to program a lot into my programming. Program a lot into my programming. Hmm. I feel like there's a better way to say that. Anyways, uh, so focus on those things. I hope that helps and uh, keep the questions coming. Thanks.